It is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Thursday, September the 10th, 2020, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Graveside service for Cindy Colleen Smith, 69 of Amarillo, native of Muleshoe, Texas, is scheduled for 11 o'clock Friday, September the 11th at the Muleshoe Memorial Park Cemetery with Father Sergio Leal officiating. She was born May the 3rd, 1951 in Muleshoe to John Weldon and Billy Joanne Dameron Smith. Cindy died on Tuesday, September the 8th, 2020 in Amarillo. She was a majorette for the Muleshoe High School Band. While living in Santa Fe, New Mexico, she enjoyed the mountains and embraced the culture. Cindy also enjoyed the big city life of Chicago and was an avid Chicago Bears fan. She loved serving the Lord and sharing it with others. She considered her family her greatest treasure. Cindy is preceded in death by her parents and one granddaughter, Skyly Danae Russell. She is survived by a daughter, Robin Miller, and her husband, Chase, and their daughter, Gracie Jo. Robin's daughter, Megan Miller, and her husband, Dustin, and their daughter, Blythe, and Robin's daughter, Crystal Minor, and her husband, Earl Jr., and their sons, Braxton and John Blason Minor. She's also survived by a son, Aaron Stallings and his daughters, Amelia Stallings and Brianna Stallings, and Jayla Alderette. She is survived by a brother, Gary Smith, and his wife, Celeste, in Austin. The family suggests memorials be sent to your favorite charity, and online condolences can be made at www.ellisfuneralhomes.com. And repeating graveside service for Cindy Smith, 69 of Amarillo, formerly a Muleshoe is scheduled for 11 o'clock Friday morning, September the 11th, at the Muleshoe Memorial Park Cemetery. Please keep the Smith family on your prayer list today. Mom reminded me of a really interesting story about Cindy. As she was in the fourth grade when efforts began to raise money for a mule memorial that was to be placed in Fort Worth, and her fourth grade class raised quite a bit of money, and uh, she, Cindy, Uh, took all the contributions and mailed them to this group in Fort Worth. Of course, along the way, Gil Lamb, my grandfather and the owner of KMUL, and Carol Pouncey, the manager of the Chamber of Commerce at the time, went to Fort Worth and met with that group, and it was decided that the Mule Memorial would be put in Muleshoe, Texas. And uh, in 1965, July the 3rd, when it was the uh, Mule Memorial was dedicated here in uh, Muleshoe at the crossroads, in front of the depot where that it was at that time the uh cindy is in a lot of those pictures she's obviously either in high school or in her early 20s by the time that the mule memorial uh came to fruition and was dedicated but lots of pictures of carol pouncey and gill lamb cindy smith wagner carr the lieutenant governor of the state of texas who was there for the dedication on that day here in Muleshoe, july the 3rd 1965 please keep the family of cindy smith on your prayer list today Johnny Gonzalez, 43, of Lubbock, passed away peacefully, surrounded by his family, on September the 1st, 2020. He was born September 22nd, 1976, in Colleen, Texas, to Johnny Mitchell and Myung Wei. Johnny grew up in Muleshoe and was a graduate in the class of 1994. He attended Texas Tech University, where he earned his Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, December 2010. He married Trini Rodriguez. October the 2nd, 2010, in Lubbock. Johnny was a loving father, caring friend, and cherished partner. His kids were his pride and joy, and he cherished every moment spent with them. Johnny could make anyone and everyone laugh. Those that knew him best knew there would never be a dull moment when he was around. He was larger than life, a great man, and will be dearly missed. He was preceded in death by his parents, a stepfather, Johnny Fluger, his grandparents, two aunts, and one cousin. Those left to cherish his memories are his wife, Trini Rodriguez, his son, Buddy Gonzalez, and daughter, Cassandra Gonzalez, a brother, Benjamin Fluger, his sister, Veronica Gonzalez, and his niece, Maisie uh, Fluger. He leaves behind many loving friends and family who will carry his memory and his laughter with them forever. A memorial service was held last weekend, Saturday, September the 5th, at San Jose Catholic Church in Crosbyton. Please keep the family of Johnny Gonzalez on your prayer list today. 43, he died on September the 1st. He was he grew up here in Muleshoe and was a member of the Muleshoe High School class of 1994. Well, we're experiencing some very schizophrenic weather here in the South Plains Panhandle region of Texas. 
And uh, our high on Monday here at the Mielshi Mesonet Station was 93 degrees. The low was 55. No rain. And then a front came through uh, Tuesday morning. And uh, slowly our uh, our weather really skipped fall and went straight into winter. As Tuesday, the high was 76. The low was 41. We only got two one-hundredths of an inch of rain. We had big rain chances all day and night on Tuesday along with Wednesday as well. But it really set in on us on Wednesday as our high was only 44 uh, during the day yesterday on Wednesday here in Muleshoe. The low was 37. We only got nine one-hundredths of an inch of rain. So as far as our rain totals go, we keep following the same pattern as we have a decent chances at rain, but nothing ever substantial has fallen here mostly since March in the Muleshoe area and uh, the uh, weather will go back the other way over the next several days and we'll be back into some pretty nice weather by the time we get to the weekend. Looking at our rainfall total for 2020 through yesterday it was six inches and 46 one hundredths for the year 2020 through September the ninth, so we're way below our average. We were looking at some of the uh, yearly totals that were some of the lowest since the Mesonet station went up uh, as of March 2001st and 2011. Of course, you remember that years we had all the wildfires in the area. Only got five inches and 72 one hundredths through those 12 months. 2012 got eight inches and 43 one hundredths. So those are the two lowest years in the last 19 at the Mesonet Station, two miles south of Muleshoe. The biggest years, 2004, got 37 inches of rain. 2015, 26 inches and 44 one-hundredths uh, rain. And 2017, 26 inches and 47 one-hundredths. So we're not going to get anywhere near those, but we're not going to be the lowest either. And hopefully we'll get some more before the end of the year. But six inches and 46 one-hundredths is our rainfall total through Wednesday, September the 9th for 2020. K&K Pharmacy is presenting to you this edition of the weather forecast. They're at 1411 West American Boulevard, and they remind you, you don't need to travel far to get your annual flu shot. They're in now this week at K&K Pharmacy, 1411 West American Boulevard. You can also call them at 806-272-7511. The CDC recommends getting vaccinated as soon as possible in the fall so you're protected when flu season hits its peak later in the late fall and winter time. Also, K&K Pharmacy reminds you that they can help you fight pain with a new Advil dual action acetaminophen. This breakthrough formula combines acetaminophen and ibuprofen to provide multi-symptom pain relief for up to eight hours and the dual action Advil available now at K&K Pharmacy. It has acetaminophen and ibuprofen both, and it's available at 1411 West American Boulevard. You can use their convenient drive through on the west side of the store. You can go into the store, and they'll also deliver to your home. Just call them, 806-272-7511, K&K Pharmacy, right here in Muleshoe. Looking at our forecast for today on Thursday, the Weather Bureau out of Lubbock, Lubbock is calling for the Muleshoe area. Patchy, uh, patchy drizzle with, sl- with a slight chance of showers in the morning hours and then a slight chance of showers afternoon Thursday. Cloudy with a high near 55. North winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain is 20% for the day today on Thursday. Tonight, another 20% chance of showers, mostly cloudy. Low around 47. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour tonight. Friday, football Friday beat Friona. Cloudy through the mid-morning, then gradually clearing as the day goes on. We'll warm up all the way to 77. Light west-southwest winds becoming south-southwest 10 to 15 miles per hour in the morning. During Friday, mostly clear Friday night. Low around 52. South-southwest winds between 5 and 15 miles per hour. So looking for a pretty good con- uh, weather conditions for the kickoff Friday night at Benny Douglas Stadium at 7 p.m. Muleshoe versus Friona. For our weekend, even nicer, sunny, high near 86 degrees. Saturday, west winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday night, mostly clear, low around 52. East-northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming light east after midnight. Sunday, sunny, high near 84 degrees. Light and variable winds becoming east 
5 to 10 miles per hour Sunday morning. Sunday night, partly cloudy, low around 52. Sunny, high near 82 on Monday. Light and variable winds becoming east, southeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, mostly clear, low around 51. Tuesday, sunny, high near 84 degrees. Tuesday night, mostly clear, low around 53. Wednesday, sunny, high near 87 degrees. So when we get through this little cold spell, looks like we're going to settle into some really fall-like weather. It's high in the mid-80s, lows in the lower 50s. K&K Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments. This edition is being brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. First, a message from our sponsors. In an effort to keep up with the latest fraud protection available, First Bank of Mule Shoes My Mobile Money app has been replaced with Secure Lock Equip. Secure Lock Equip is very similar to My Mobile Money as it is an easy to use mobile app that puts the power to protect your debit cards in your hands and it's available to all participating card holders. It empowers First Bank's customers to prevent fraud if your card is lost or stolen simply by turning your card off from your phone. Control spending by setting limits on withdrawals or transactions. Customize spending ability of online, mobile, or in-store purchases. Set alert notifications for each time a transaction is made. Block international or out-of-area transactions as well. Download the Secure Lock Equip app from Google Play for Android phones or at the App Store for iPhones. Follow the steps to connect your First Bank of Meal Shoe debit cards. If you need more information or help, you can call the First Bank here in Meal Shoe, 806 272 4515. Check them out online, fbmealshoe.com. The First Bank Secure Lock Equip, available now for Android or iPhones through the Google Play Store or the App Store. The First Bank is member FDIC. Leal's is the best Mexican food I've ever eaten in my life, and I've been alive for 10 years now. Hi, I'm Isla Reynolds, and I enjoy the phenomenal bean burritos, rice and beans and chips and seasoning salt. I've been around and eaten lots of Mexican food in 10 years, and Leal's is the best, for sure, with the original being located at 1010 West American Boulevard in Milshew, Texas, since 1957. Buywise Home Store in Muleshoe at 106 East American Boulevard is getting ready for the fall season. As in the store now, they have lots of fall home decor pieces and Halloween decorations. Lots of new women's fashions as well in stock. Now like mules t-shirts, ball pumpkin spy shirts, new selection of sweaters, and long sleeve fashions and a big discount on a cell rack available now at Buywise Home Store. See their selection of women's pants and blue jeans. Also, wedding shower gift selections available now for Tyson Turnbow and Cameron McLean at Bowers Home Store in Muleshoe. Check out the new line of Swig Life stainless steel insulated cups that will keep cold drinks nine hours and hot drinks hot for three hours. Swan Creek Candle Company, herbal nuts available now at Bywise, and lots of great scents like Dutch Apple Pie, Leather, Raspberry, Rhubarb, Snickerdoodle, and more. Lots of new beautiful bedroom furniture sets, living room sets, and beautiful new accent pieces available now at Biowise Home Store. They finance all the furniture, appliance, and electronics. Call them today at 806-272-5612. They're at 106 East American Boulevard in Muleshoe with locations as well in Dimmit, Littlefield, and Hereford saying, Go Mules, Go! Well, a big congratulations goes out to our new head football coach, athletic director, Coach Jason Richards, his staff, along with all the mules on the 2020 football team as they snapped a 13-game losing streak uh, last Friday night against La Mesa, the Golden Tornadoes. They beat them 42-6. to The mules ran 62 plays. La Mesa ran 53 uh, the Mules had 455 total yards. La Mesa only had 181. 327 passing yards, uh, 128 on the ground for the Mules. They had 23 first downs as well. Zach Hasley, the quarterback, passed for uh, 19 out of 28 for 327 yards, four touchdowns, and his longest pass was 73 Yard. So congratulations to the Mules on that great victory. From Benny Douglas Stadium, David Woodfield, 
last Friday night as they beat Lamisa 42 to 6. You can go to the front page of our website still today during the day on Thursday, MuleshoeTV.com, and see our live stream broadcast that occurred live Friday night from uh, Benny Douglas Stadium. Also, prior to it, you can see the senior spotlight that took place that available under our sports tab, MuleshoeTV.com, or on the front page as of this uh, Thursday morning. Also, congratulations as KCBD Sports Director Pete Christie named the Mules Assistant Coach, Defensive Coordinator Daryl Davis as his Assistant Coach of the Week. For the second straight week, his defense only allowed six points in a game as Muleshoe beat Lamisa 42-6. to the Mules defense held Lamisa to 181 yards total offense and forced four turnovers. So congratulations to defensive coordinator for the Mules, Daryl Davis, being named the assistant coach of the week by KCBD uh, Pete Christie. Also in the press pass, which is Kel Steed's a longtime sports guy up in the Amarillo area's website, his week two small school top ten performers included Zach Hasley, the junior quarterback for the Mules, Hasley, did all he could to help the Mules snap a nasty 13-game losing skid dating back to 2018. The gunslinger picked apart Lamisa during a 42-6 blowout, throwing for 328 yards on 19 of 28 completions and four touchdown tosses. Of course, Sack got a little banged up there toward the end of the game and we hope that he has recuperated and will be in the lineup this coming Friday night but keep Zach on your prayer list today Uh, now of course we move on to a big rivalry game for this Friday September the 11th as the Mules will take on the Friona Chieftains our longtime rivals just 30 miles uh, north of town along 214. Before the game gets underway, the Muleshoe High School senior class welcomes you to their pregame Fiesta Pylon dinner. It will be again Friday, September the 11th. They are serving Fiesta Pylon with all the fixings, dessert, and tea from 5 until 7 at the MHS Cafeteria Commons area. No deliveries this year. It will be dine-in and carry-out only. It's $8 per plate. See any senior student or class sponsor to buy your ticket in advance, or you can pay at the door. Again, it's $8. And, of course, this Friday night will be Mule Up for Childhood Cancer Night at the game, and it will be Killing It for Creed the uh, that will uh, receive all the benefits that they raise. I know that they've sold shirts for uh, Ch- uh, Mule Up for Childhood Cancer, Killing It for Creed, and they've sold a lot of them over the past couple of weeks. But that MHS Senior pregame Fiesta Pylon dinner from 5 until 7, Friday, September the 11th at the MHS Cafeteria. Dine in and carry out. Only it's $8 you can pay at the door they aren't selling tickets at the door for the mule she versus friona game from friday uh, this friday night tickets are available at the administration office or at the high school office until noon friday it's adults four dollars and students are two dollars of course they're only selling 50 percent capacity in the stadiums this year they ask that you please socially distance we will go on the air about 6 50 for, for our live stream uh, this coming Friday night, and uh, it, our broadcast will be brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Muleshoe Housing Authority, AIM Bank, Muleshoe Independent School District, Bywise Home Store, Hereford Feed uh, Ingredients, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, McDonald's Restaurant, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, k k Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, The First Bank, Dell Oil Company, Farmers Insurance, and Julie De Bruin. We think the live stream, or I think the live stream from last Friday, where we were able to use all of our new equipment, it went pretty well, but we'll get better as we go. And uh, we are going to get a a new camera today and a new microphone, hopefully tomorrow. So we'll add in some crowd sound star broadcast and a much better camera than the one uh, we used for the scoreboard last week. 
So look for all that. We're going to integrate a second laptop into our system as well, which will make it a little bit easier to switch between the live uh, broadcasts and ads uh, in the pregame and halftime. But we'll try to show the band at halftime as well this coming Friday, the Mighty M Marching Band. We counted up the total views from last week's game versus La Mesa, and we had 5,725 views from the Mule's Big Victory over the Golden Tornadoes. You can always see it live streamed on our, the front page of our website, muleshootv.com, under the Sports tab there as well. Also under uh, uh, live streamed on Facebook Live on our Gillam page and our Channel 6 Muleshoe, both of those Facebook pages. Our YouTube channel live streams it as well, Gillam Advertising. Uh, so there's a plethora of places you can find it and also a link to the live stream on our Twitter feed. Well, the JV Mules will take on Friona at 5 o'clock uh, this afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, at Friona. So go and support the JV Mules. The very first junior high games will take place right here in Muleshoe for Watson Junior High School as they will play uh, Friona at Benny Douglas Stadium, the 7th grade A team at 5 p.m., and 8th grade A team will be at 6.15 p.m. The high school will have a MHS uh, pep rally at Benny Douglas Stadium at 11.05 p.m. tomorrow on Friday, and then also going on sports-wise, there will be a high school cross-country meet that MHS students will participate in at 11.30 at Lubbock Christian University on Saturday, September the 12th. So good luck to all of the Mules football teams cross-country that are participating in fall sports over the next three days. Well, we dug out something interesting in our archives from a couple of years ago, and it's Lincoln Riley on Sooner Sports Talk fifth quarter uh, TV radio show that he did from September the 18th 2018, and he talks about his experiences uh, growing up and playing uh, for the Mules and quarterbacking the Mules with the Friona rivalry. We now take you to 2018 and Sooner Spark Sports Talk fifth quarter program where Lincoln Riley talks about Mule Shoe and Friona. We wrap up every show with uh, Coach five questions that may have nothing to do with football. Uh, question number one most of these came from the viewers, listeners, fans tonight. What's something from your days in mule shoe that we don't know about you? Well, there's a lot. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, spill your well, beans. Well, I don't know. It's probably out. Yeah, we, you know, we painted our rival's water tower after we beat them one year. Yeah. <laughs> we threw the score up there. So, uh, Who's your rival? Uh, it was Friona, the Friona Chieftains. How did you manage that? You know, we snuck out of my house. At about 3 a.m., we uh, we drove over there. We threw some blankets over the uh, barbed wire fence, scaled that. Wow. And then me and my buddy climbed to the top of the water tower, and we painted the score as big as we could make it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the cops knocked on my door the next morning. Oh, they got you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, don't, I can't even begin to tell you how they got us. It was a crime. Uh, yeah, it was a crime. No, it was a crime that they got us. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another 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 fifth quarter. You were busted, huh? That, did you? Did we you have, were. Uh, did you have to work it off? Or yeah, we had. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, our coaches weren't real happy about that All one. Right, so right. yeah. Well, that was too good not to share. Is Lincoln Riley speaking about Mule Shoe versus Friona, a rivalry, and his days back playing for the Mules as the starting quarterback, and that was from Sooner Sports Talk, their fifth quarter program. From September the 18th, 2018. You can see pictured on your TV screen today, Mule Shoe Independent School District School Nurses, as they were the Rotary Program this past Tuesday, where they spoke about their COVID-19 mitigation plans in the Mule Shoe Schools. They are Amanda Alvarado, Sharon Regal, Claudia Longoria, and Susan Cage. They're also pictured in one of our pictures with the Rotary President, Chase Timms standing behind one of the wrist temperature scanning kiosks used in the Mule Shoe schools. 
And uh, thanks for our superintendent, Dr. R.L. Richards, for sending us those pictures. You can see them on our screen today. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Since 1925, AIM Bank is proud to be one of the largest locally owned and operated banks in West Texas. Our expert bankers have an in-depth understanding of the local economy, and we are proud to provide our customers with quick local loan decisions. At AIM Bank, we know that strong local partnerships are crucial for growth and success. Investing in you has been our focus from day one. We provide the latest in technology for your online and mobile banking with features like mobile check deposit. At AIM Bank, we care about your accounts as much as you do. So we pride ourselves on real personal attention because we are also your neighbor. We invite you to come in and experience the real personal attention AIM Bank has to offer. We want to know you because we live, work, and raise our families right here in Muleshoe 2. AIM Bank is committed to making a difference in the communities we serve. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hello, I'm Keith Kobe with the Muleshoe Family Medicine Clinic. As we continue in this pandemic, your health is our utmost concern. We continue to work diligently to make the Muleshoe Family Medicine Clinic a safe place for you and your family. Most importantly, during this time, it is essential to keep up with your routine exams so we can help you address your medical problems before they get out of control. As always, please continue to practice CDC guidelines by wearing a mask in public areas and while visiting us. Please remember to stay six feet apart and wash or sanitize your hands frequently. Call the Muleshoe Family Medicine Clinic so we can help you live in a healthy life. That's 806-272-7531. Brian Cox, 401 South 1st Street, Muleshoe, Texas, supporting the mules and lady mules. Get your Muleshoe Mule flags here now. All proceeds benefit the Muleshoe Athletic Booster Club. The manager's special for September is the bypass lopper and pruner set regularly $24.99, now slashed to $9.97 while supplies last. Kids' masks are just in, and also a new selection of reasonably priced N95 masks Get a box of 20 now at Frying Cox. Another manager special for September is the 32-gallon rectangle wheeled trash can marked down to $14.99. Frying Cox also has just replenished their stock of antibacterial hand wash and soap, hand sanitizer, and lots to choose from and disinfectant sanitizers as well. A second special of the month for September is get two for six mix or match the 9.8-ounce clear silicone sealant 12 ounce foam sealant, all available now at Frying Cox 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe, Texas. They're open Monday through Saturdays, 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. Well, thanks, Star Bailey County Attorney Jackie Claiborne, as he updated us this morning with brand new uh, numbers out of the Muleshoe Bailey County Emergency Management Group, as there are now only three active COVID 19 cases. Here as of Thursday morning in Muleshoe and Bailey County, they have have had 249 positive cases since this all began earlier in the year. 241 have recovered, and as of now, only five deaths. Uh, and again, three active cases here in Bailey County and Muleshoe. So that is a blessing. Uh, and sadly, five deaths. Keep all those families on your prayer list today. And continue to remember all the CDC guidelines on wearing a mask when you're in public and stay socially distanced, six feet away from other people. Try to avoid large groups. Wash your hands thoroughly and uh, clean, disinfect surfaces that are frequently touched as well. You can see a lot of those uh, advice and tips on the screen on our mule train today. Find on the front page of our website our video that we made last week with the about the Muleshoe High School Acceleration and Collegiate Academy that assists students with ACT, SAT, and TSI preparation and offers a large array of dual credit classes. It's made to where if you start this program in your freshman year in high school, by the time you graduate from Muleshoe High School, you can also graduate with an associate's degree from college, we speak with uh, Cindy uh, Cindy Basir, the MHS principal, along with April Smith, the director of the program, lots of other 
um, of the administration there at high school and at MISD about the program along with many of the students. That's available free of charge, on demand, on the front page of our website, muleshoetv.com. Well, we've worked for the last two weeks to get all of our technical problems ironed out at the First United Methodist Church. Don't know if we've done it yet, but we are sincerely apologize for that having problems with the First United Methodist Church, but hopefully we'll have uh, the Sunday morning service from 11 a.m. available on our website, mealshootv.com. Click on the First Methodist tab this coming Sunday. Last week, of course, we do the live stream from the First Baptist Church, and uh, they talked about Nolan Lewis, the pianist there at First Baptist Muleshoe, and it was a really interesting uh, little segment there where Stacy talked about Nolan taking a, a vacation this coming week. He was planning on going on a cruise ship, but of course all that got canceled. So he and a friend are serving meals down in the hurricane area around Lake Charles, Louisiana. Anna. In their first two servings on Monday, Nolan's team prepared 6,000 meals. They served Monday morning biscuits and sausage. They're doing two meals a day all week long, Nolan Lewis. You can see that under the First Baptist tab at our website, MuleshoeTV.com. Join us every Sunday for that live stream from the First Baptist Church. This Sunday on uh, September the 13th, it's Dr. Stacy Connor's message will be from John 17, uh, verse 11, protect them in your name. Also, every Sunday afternoon, you can... Uh, find the First Methodist uh, service along with the full service from Calvary Baptist Church and the message from Brother Jeff Kaufman that available every Sunday, com. Well, on your prayer list today, please remember Bonnie Carpenter, Gladys Williams, Lucilla Flores, Justin Obenhaus, James Seagroves, Mary Nell Bleeker, Gladys Black, David Lawrence, Berta Combs, Clinton Rogers, Carolyn Johnson, Ronnie Wilkerson, Terry Byers, Joe and Leela Copley, Charles Mayhew, Missy Spratlin, Betty Ruth Wood, Donald and Joe Phelps, Junior Davenport, Kelvin Johnson, Sandy Noble, Dr. Bruce Purdy, remember Ricky Diaz and Margaret Berman, Adeline Kirby, Robert Montgomery, Matthew Alicom, Stanley Wilson, Jacob Olivas, remember Janetta Precure and Jeremy Combs, Jamela Clemens, Randy Norman, Jacob Olivas, David and Liz Tips as they've recently moved from Muleshoe, Karen McKay, remember on your prayer list today all the pastors and church leaders here in our community, remember all those at the Senior Center, the board, the president, uh, Royce Turner, along with the director, um, Carolyn Johnson, remember all the leaders in our school, city, and county. Our governor and president, remember all our small business owners and all their employees. Remember our hospital staff and the administrator, Dennis Fleener, and our Parkview Nursing Care Center, all their staff and residents, and the administrator, Chris and Tion. Keep all these people on your prayer list today. Remember, please, the family of Paula Crowder, 56 of Muleshoe. She died on Monday in Lubbock. Please keep her family on your prayer list today, the family of Johnny Gonzalez and the family of Cindy Smith. Remember the family of Donald Lee Powell, the family of Jack Osborne, the family of Mary Doty Montour. Remember the family of Tom Jinks, longtime Milshi resident. He died recently in Lubbock. Remember the family of Megan Kirkland, the granddaughter of Sheila Stevenson, the family of Clifton Myers, and the family of Gary Welch. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train, along with all our archived ones, available free of charge on demand on our website, muleshootv.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. This is Tumbleweed Smith, a llama kissing contest in Fredericksburg. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. 
The Sound of Texas is brought to you here on MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They're celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They're owned by the members that they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online at BCEC. COOP.com, the board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope you enjoy this Sound of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. This particular one loves to kiss, especially children. He's very affectionate with children. Everyone seems to be going by and kissing him. He's already got lipstick on his nose. He started kissing when people would come up and he'd just put his head over and start kissing. So we decided to have a kissing contest and see who he'd kiss the best and the longest and the sloppiest and... That type of thing, really just so that the crowd got involved and would learn that llamas are gentle, wonderful animals. Rita Rothenberg took some of her llamas to Fredericksburg recently for a llama kissing contest. Here he comes. He'll pucker up. People of all ages lined up to kiss a llama named Chop. And he adores you all. Please don't come up behind him because he can't see you, and we don't want any accidents. Yes, I know. You want to kiss. (laughs) He will kiss you. They are hand shy, so if you put your hands behind your back, see, he's going to kiss. Most of the adult kissers were women, but there were a few men. They're very curious, which is part of the reason that they want to get in your face. They want to see who you are, what you're doing, what you're up to, and then they want to kiss you. I'll give you a little secret. He loves peppermint, and I brought some peppermint so that you all could cheat. And that way, if you blow real softly in his nose, he'll really lay one on you. (laughs) Rita raises Peruvian Paso ponies on her ranch near Collinsville, north of Dallas. We had a very bad problem with coyotes, and so we went out and started uh, looking for an animal to take care of the horses, and we ended up with a llama. They will kill coyotes. They will kill anything that comes into their pasture that doesn't belong. So they'll chase them out, and if the animal won't go... They'll take them down. Chop is the baby. She has other llamas. We have Remiel, which means candy cotton in Spanish. And we have Gigolo, which, of course, means what it says. And we have Texana. Chop has a good life. He comes in the house. He has his own area rug. He has his own TV. He has his own fan. And on Saturday mornings, always, he's in front of the television. Rita Rothenberg of Collinsville says Chop is housebroken. When he needs to go out, he gets up and goes to the door. When he wants in, he knocks. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas.